In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use ResearchRabbit app to find articles that you might not necessarily find through keyword searching in the library's databases. So, download the research, rather, get a ResearchRabbit account. It's an online account. And we're going to create a new collection. And we will call that collection demo. HS and hit enter. And so the first thing that we want to do after we create the collection is click on the collection and add papers. Now you can, if you already have a paper that you know you want to use to start this with, you can use that paper. You can just type in the title or DOI or of that paper. But we're just going to go with some keywords from the um, assignments that you guys have and click on search and we uh, want to search all subject areas and then we get this list of papers that we can add to our research rabbit collection and here's one eating disorders in female athletes it's in sports medicine published in 1991 maybe a foundational title we will add that and here's one on the prevention of eating disorders in female ath athletes. It's in the Journal of Sports Medicine. So let's add that to the collection. So you want to be selective when you're adding papers and make sure you're staying very close to the topic that you are writing on. This is a new paper by Burton published in 2021, a critical review. I think that would be valuable for us to look at. We'll add that review paper. And here's one on the use of screening tools. So let's add that one also. Um, rather than, I won't add the diagnostic accuracy of screening tools because that seems to be more about the tool itself, analysis of the tool itself. So now that we've added some papers, we'll close the search box. And um, so we have one, two, three, four. And maybe we want to focus on um, right now talking about the prevention of eating disorders in female athletes. So I'm going to click on that title. And from here, I want to, so now I can see that I have the selected paper. And I want to click, oh, go over here and say, look for similar work. So if I like, I've read the abstract and I'm really interested in this area of preventing eating disorders in female athletes, looking for some kind of, what, what kind of interventions have been conducted. I'll click on similar work. And now I have 50 papers that I could add to my collection, but I'm not going to do that. What I want to do, see now I have this network of papers that I can start investigating. So it seems like there's a couple of lines of research. Here's an unconnected line of research over here. These articles are not collected to any of the articles in this larger cluster which means probably that none of these papers have cited each other or have cited similar articles or the same articles like in their reference list. Whereas this is a more um, cohesive group of articles. So if I hover here, I can see this prevalence of eating disorders in elite athletes is higher than in the general population. That article, we can when I hover here, the article is highlighted in the network, and I can see that that one is really central to this line of research. And now, if I click on this larger green dot, the larger the dot, the more connected it is in this network of articles. So we have these two large green dots that are highly connected. The smaller the dots, the less connected they are. And you can see these are out on the peripheral, peripheral of the 
uh, network. And so you probably want to stick maybe with some articles that are more centrally connected. So what we want to do now is find, add some of these articles. So um, this one here, let's find it in the list. If we click on that, we can add that paper, add this paper. If we read the um, title, we can add this paper. Oh, it's already in the collection, so we've already got that paper. I'm going to click out of that, and maybe we want to add this paper. So we can add this paper, if we decide that we like that paper, add it to our collection. So what we're doing is we're going through these groups of articles maybe the Leon, I think that's one. See, we already have the Leon one. It's centrally connected. I'll close that. And where is this joy? It's showing up and it's pretty new, 2016. I wanna stick to these articles over here. There we go. And add this one, an overview of the prevalence. We'll add it to the collection. And so now, once you've added a couple of articles that you th have looked at the titles and observed the various um, subtopics uh, being addressed here, uh, maybe we're not interested in dieting and disorder eating in high school athletes, um, but maybe we're looking for an eating attitudes test. So that's interesting. We could add that one. And now, once we've selected some articles, we can kind of use these articles or the collection that we have to um, kind of focus our paper. So I'm going to exit out of similar work, and then we're going back to the collection that we have built here, and go down to the bottom, and let's see, sh click on show connections. And so now we have this group of articles that are um, connected. You probably want to add a couple of more articles. But these articles have a nice connection here. And I can again look at these and read these titles. What I'm really interested in seeing now is some major themes. So this is prevention of eating disorders. This one is the eating attitudes test, and this one uh, is the use of screening tools, and now eating disorders and overview of the prevalence. So these are this is a gr good group of articles that I could use in my presentation. This one is aspects of, I'm reading the titles over here, aspects of disorder eating continuum in elite high intensity sports, and eating disorders in general in female athletes. So we could look to see how many citations. The number of citations may be 30. This might or might not be a seminal article in this area. Right now, let's go and look at the timeline. So we're back over here in the network area. Instead of looking at these articles in a timeline, we, I mean, in a network, we can look at them in a timeline. And so now we can see these articles have, um, the focus of these, this topic has changed over the years in that 1984 or 82, very little research being done and, or we haven't seen it, 91, and then in 2010 to 2014, lots of research being done there. And so this is meant to um, help you make a note of how these articles or how this topic has been studied over the years and like changes in the focus of it from just perhaps here in 1991, um, observing the fact that the eating disorders are a prevalent problem in female athletes and moving on to the creation of a 
um, an attitude test, and then moving on into aspects of disorder eating, and then uh, how to prevent eating disorders. So this kind of searching and looking at how the articles are connected to each other can help you to organize the way that you um, sequence your slides in your PowerPoint presentation. So you probably want to order, uh, or I'm sorry, add more articles than we have actually added. I just wanted to provide you with a demonstration. If you have a Zotero account, notice also that you could add these um, titles to Zotero by syncing this collection with your Zotero account. Okay, so that's it. If you have questions about how you could use this or you need some more explanation, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll help you work your way through it.